Hey guys, what is up? It's Mr. Rayguns here, bringing you guys another video. Today, we got an interesting video today. So, I did a poll on Twitter, asked you guys what you wanted to see for the video today. Didn't get that many votes, just because a lot of my viewers on YouTube don't even have Twitter, or don't follow me there. But, I did get a couple votes, and the options were between, like, the mini lad situation that's going down, vlog, and a couple other random things. But, everybody decided on the mini lad situation. It was actually 100% for this whole mini lad thing. So... I decided let's get right into it. So, I don't really have much to add to the situation, so I really recommend checking out Drama Alert because while everyone has these terrible things to say about Keemstar, and while Keemstar isn't the best person in the world, he did report on this situation and he has pretty much all the facts and he reported on it pretty unbiased, which, you know what? Shout, good, good job for you, Keemstar. Shout outs to you for doing that. But anyway, if you guys don't know who Mini Lad is, he is a YouTuber with over 5.6 million subscribers. He's easily one of the biggest guys on YouTube, and he's been around for a while. First time I saw Mini Lad, he was in some old Vanoss videos and doing compilations with them, you know, COD4, Prop Hunt, and stuff like that. I've never been a fan of Mini Lad, you know, I never went to his channel to watch his own videos, all that kind of stuff, but he is one of the biggest YouTubers, and he's got a lot of clout for that. So, the controversy really comes in from this girl Haley on Twitter. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, it's Haley or Holly. One of the two. Either way, there's been a couple girls that have come out, but Haley is the one that has basically got him busted, right? So Haley was 16 at the time and she came with the claim that Mini Lad manipulated her for nudes, basically, and for, you know, sexual pleasure and all that kind of stuff. So, really disgusting claim, right? And she came with the receipts. She came with the screenshots, all sorts of things, to the point where Mini Lad actually made a post and, you know, admitted to every all the allegations that were against him. So, you know, he made this big post about how he's going to go get mental help, he's going to go to therapy, he apologizes. All the stuff you see in the usual apology. And the screenshots that Haley had were so just disgusting. I literally can't put them in this video or else YouTube would take them down because YouTube's really strict about that stuff. But I did put one of them in the thumbnail off to the side. Again, I had to crop that out because of some of the stuff he said. But, I mean, you know, there's just all these screenshots of him calling her bae, of him asking her for pictures, asking if he can um, ejaculate to her pictures like it's it's pretty bad and he admitted to it but the problem i mean that that already is a problem right but there's another problem added to the situation so he in response he did everything that he should have right he apologized that he was going to go to therapy all that kind of stuff doesn't excuse what he did whatsoever and he should lose all of his subscribers and all his sponsors and all that kind of stuff which i don't know if he has lost all of his sponsors or something like that i hate people going after other people's sponsors but this is an extreme situation where dude like admitted to sexually you know wanting sexual images from a minor and I think it was multiple minors as well so that's really bad but you know what gets even worse is this dude leaves the United States and goes back to Ireland yeah just on short notice just says fuck it and moves back to Ireland now there's multiple ways you can interpret this right Mini Lad claims the reason why he moved was just because he's been on this mental health journey, he wanted to be back with his family, all that kind of stuff. In my opinion, the other theory that I think is really popular and the one that I think is really true is that Mini Lad's trying to dodge a case, right? Because in the USA, I'm pretty sure that's a crime. That's a pretty big crime. And, you know, the USA doesn't really take kindly to that kind of stuff. They're really big on getting people like that, especially in the YouTube community. Like, people have been busted in the past and have actually faced jail time for it, or prison time, rather. And, you know, even, like, from a personal experience, people at my school have been busted for doing this. Or people at my old high school have been busted for doing this, and they're in prison. So, you know, for the most part, the USA usually cracks down on people like this. So, Mini Lad left. Like, he's gone. He's back in Ireland. And he uploads a video six days ago, a normal Minecraft video, right? So... This guy, who's big in the community for doing child-friendly games as well, and, you know, he plays Call of Duty and all that other stuff, but he's mostly known for, like, being child-friendly, big child-friendly guy, goes and gets exposed, admits to it, leaves the USA, and makes a Minecraft video. And, by the way, in his new video, he didn't even address the situation. He just basically said, you know, I went on a break for mental health reasons. Like, listen, man. That, that ain't gonna cut it. Like, 
there's always something strange about the Minecraft community. And I don't want to say the entire community because there are some legitimately good people in the long or the, the long the Minecraft community, right? There are some good people. There are some nice people that have uploaded Minecraft. Syndicate is one of them. They try to expose Syndicate and it did not work because they had no evidence and Syndicate literally didn't get hit with it at all. Um other YouTubers in the past are been had really great Minecraft content and have not been exposed for anything. Jericho is another one of them. Firefox, Captain Sparkles is a big one. Nade Shot, Hex, like these guys have done Minecraft for a while and been Minecraft channels for about a year, you know, while doing other stuff. And they're really good people. So I don't want to say the entire Minecraft community, right? But there's this weird thing in the Minecraft community where people are getting exposed for this kind of stuff. People like Basherverse, which I really feel for Basher and I love him as a content creator, but he did get exposed and he did admit to something. You know, he did admit, but you know, that's a whole other video, right? Uh, Basher got exposed. There was the friend of uh, Stampy Longnose. I can't remember his friend's name or whatever. Like, people have getting, been getting exposed left and right in the Minecraft community for being pedophiles. Like, so there, there's an issue that we need to discuss on YouTube, right? There's something that we need to talk about. Why Mini Lads channel hasn't been deleted, I will never know. There has to be a zero tolerance policy on this kind of shit. Like, I'm sorry, it just has to happen, right? Because, look, Mini Lad is one of YouTube's biggest contributors. You know how much ad revenue that guy brings in? You know how many views that guy pulls in? You know, he's one of the few creators that YouTube actually gives a damn about because, you know, if his channel goes to shit, they could lose a lot of viewers. There's a lot of people on YouTube just to watch Mini Lad, right? And if he's gone, oh, that might hurt YouTube's, you know, YouTube's wall just a little bit. There has to be a zero tolerance policy. Why YouTube did not punish him for this just blows my mind. He has to be held accountable for what he did. He can't just be allowed to continue making Minecraft videos as if nothing happened in the past and not even address the situation. Like, look, I'm all about people getting second chances. I'm all about people trying to improve who they are, but this, you got to have punishment for this. You can't just give him a slap on the wrist and let him walk. You know, this, there, we have to change the culture around, you know, YouTube. There are YouTubers who get busted for this all the time. And there needs to be a zero tolerance policy. And I'm not just talking about if they get accused of something, ban them. This is different. Minilad got accused. They provided evidence. Minilad admitted to it. Case closed. There's no debate over it. Minilad did these things. He needs to be held accountable. We can't let... People like this just continue uploading on YouTube to children. Like, he is a sexual predator. I don't know how else to say it except for, you know, he's a sexual predator. That's just that's just who he is, and he admitted to it. So, there needs to be punishment. I know that the USA can't really do anything about it because he's in Ireland, but YouTube can do plenty about it. Shut his channel down. Stop letting this guy walk free. He is a danger to children. Like... It just blows my mind that YouTube has not done anything about this. But anyway, that's the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Help me on the road to 600 subscribers. Let me know what you guys think about the whole Minilad situation. Do you agree with me? Should YouTube ban him? Let me know what your thoughts and your feedback is down in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Austin. I am out. Peace, guys.